yes good morning good morning good morning as we listen to this song of this beautiful music we want to launch into our morning devotion but before we do so we are going to have a word of prayer yes merciful father god of love thank you once again for this opportunity whereby we can come into your presence and have a morning moment with you uh, be with us and bless us now take charge in jesus name we pray amen we are looking at second corinthians chapter 6 verses 4 and 10. it says in the king james version but in all things are proven ourselves as the ministers of god in much patience in afflictions in necessities in distresses verse 10 tells us as sorrowful yet always rejoicing as poor yet making many rich as having nothing and yet possessing all things this morning as we listen to the voice of god he's saying beware of feeling entitled to good gifts receive blessings from me thankfully yet be willing to release them back to me without growing resentful when you have lost something precious your job your house your health or a loved one you may think it is irrational to be joyful but this is a worldly way of thinking major losses are very painful and they do not or they do need to be grieved nonetheless with time and effort you can learn to focus on the good things that remain and find joy in the one who will never leave you remember that it is possible to be sorrowful yet always rejoicing the apostle paul learned the secret of being joyful in all situations through his experience of multiple hardships the holy spirit empowered paul to find joy in the midst of adversity and he can do the same for you you must be willing though to let go of anything i take from you no matter how painful the loss then direct your attention fully to me trusting that i will never let go of you what do you need to let go of remembering that i never let go of you will you entrust yourself to me and that's a question that you have to answer today so may god be with us may god bless us may god direct us so that we would never let go we will keep trusting in god knowing that he will always be with us and be there for us thank you dear father for your instructions thank you for guiding us in this way may we be ever mindful of your presence and the fact that you know what is best for us in jesus name we pray with thanks Amen.